Hi, and welcome to another demo. So at the moment, we're looking at a last data set and we've displayed that by elevation. That's really useful for seeing height differences. And as we've seen in previous videos, there's a number of ways we can symbolize this last data set. However, something really useful we can do is to give it RGB values. So we're gonna take some imagery and we're gonna assign the RGB values from the pixels in the imagery into the LiDAR data. And that will mean we can visualize that LiDAR data as if it were imagery. I'll show you what I mean now. So the first thing we're going to do is select our last data set. This is the one we're looking at. Before I do anything, I'll just quickly show you what my imagery looks like. So I'm using a 20 centimeter imagery downloaded from the DEFRA website if you're in the UK. But you can use pretty much any imagery. The only thing you can't use, it seems, is the Esri base maps. Okay, so we'll select our last data set. We'll go to the last data set layer at the top of ArcGIS Pro, and we've got this middle tab, so data. Here we'll go to export, and we're going to select the second option, colorize. Select that, and here's the little geoprocessing tool on the right hand side. So we've got our target data set. We're going to select an image. I'm going to use my Newbury RGB, which is a mosaic data set that I created of that imagery. Then you've got an option to assign bands. So I'm just using RGB, uh, red, green, blue. However, you do have the option for a near infrared band. So uh, I might do one of those later on and see what that looks like. However, now I'm just going to leave it as RGB. Select a target folder where to save it. Uh, so I'm going to save it in my last folder. And I'm going to call it Nibri RGB. Doesn't want me to save it in there, so I'm going to move the folder. Go there. Problem solved. All right, so I've saved it in the correct location. Give it a name. I'm happy with all parameters. I'm going to leave everything else as default. Press run, and then I'll unpause the video when it's finished. Okay, that's run pretty quickly. It took less than a minute. However, my image, only, or my last data set, sorry, only has four tiles in. Depending on the size of the area, the resolution of your data and the speed of your system, that may take longer or less time. Let's have a look at it then. So I'll turn off my original. So you can see it's created a new last data set uh, using the same name as the output. With that selected, let's go to appearance, symbology, and now we've got an extra option in there. So I've now got an RGB option my data set. Press that and we'll see what it looks like. Select that again. There we go. So I'll now turn off the imagery. And all those values are now coming from that last data set. And I think you'll agree, or you might agree, that's a really useful way to visualize that data. So we've really brought that LiDAR data to life. Especially useful for people who aren't used to looking at LiDAR data, or just want a different perspective. I think it works really well, in my opinion, uh, with things like vegetation. In terms of buildings, uh, I personally think this works really well for larger buildings with, you know, things like warehouses, industrial buildings. I think it works perhaps less well for uh, residential areas where the houses are smaller, and there might be more vegetation and it can get a bit a bit messy in there um, but that's just my opinion however yeah really good technique for visualizing that data uh, and a very easy step to take okay thanks for listening and stay tuned for future demos